welcome again to Beer in Canada. I'm your host, Chris Talbot. Uh, I don't have my partner in crime here today, so it's just me, but I wanted to get in one more review of a pumpkin beer before they're, they're all gone. Still right now, if you, if you go check out your LCBO if you're on, in Ontario or you know, your, your other beer, store, beer or liquor store, wherever you happen to be in the country, you, you can probably still find a few pumpkin beers around, but they're, they're starting to get low in stock now that we're into mid-November. But uh, today, this is... This is, sorry, the, um, the, sorry, Brooklyn Brewery's Post Road Pumpkin Ale. Now, according to this, this is ale brewed with pumpkin spices, which is pretty normal for a, uh, a pumpkin ale. But I'll just, uh, since Royal's not here to read, I'll do a quick read. In the 18th century, colonial Americans brewed wonderful and interesting ales by using local ingredients. Barley was the principal ingredient, but pumpkins were also used. Pumpkins were favored by brewers for their rich, spicy flavors, which melded perfectly with the malted barley. Post Road brings you a delicious rendition of this traditional American classic. So, Post Road Pumpkin Ale, I guess. So let's open this up and take a look and see how it tastes. So, just kind of try to give this a bit of an aggressive pour. And yeah, as you can see, there's a, the, you hope you can see this, there's a lot of carbonation coming up off the, the bottom end and the sides of the glass there. Easily a couple fingers worth of head on that, it's really foamy. Nice, uh, a nice golden, almost kind of pushing into amber colors with a fairly, just like an off-white head. It looks fairly white from the top if you look at it from the side, it's, it's, it's an off-white head. So it looks pretty good, very clear, some nice clarity again. Look at it, there's a lot of little tiny bubbles just coming off the bottom of that glass. So let's let's give it a, a whiff here. First thing you notice really is the pumpkin. It's definitely there along along with the spices with the this it's a really nice blend of the two in this in this beer. Almost nothing in terms of malt or hops. But yeah, I, I'm really just picking up the, the pumpkin and the spices itself. But it smells good, so let's give it a try. Yeah, a lot of pumpkin in that. The spices are a little more subdued in this beer. And uh, but it's it's the pumpkin that really stands out. But it, it's nice, it's flavorful. Uh, it's not very sweet. It has a, a a little bit of a dry finish. And again, almost almost nothing in terms of malt or hops really coming through in that. There's just a little bit of maybe bitterness just in the swallow, but it's it's pretty faint. But that that's not a bad beer. This uh, in terms of the the three that we've talked about, including this, I compare this almost closer to the Great Lakes, a, a drier pumpkin beer with uh, a good amount of pumpkin flavor. Not much in terms of roasted pumpkin though, so I'm not sure what they what they did with this one. And the, and the spices are there, but they're they're fairly mellow. So this is this is not bad. Uh, it doesn't really blow me away though. But there's really nothing wrong with it. It just I, I think like the other pumpkin ales, I'm going to rate this a four out of five stars. Uh, it's it is a really good beer. It is tasty. I could see could see myself drinking a couple of these in a sitting. So it'd be a nice autumn session beer, I think. But uh, not nothing, nothing really spectacular. Nothing to really blow your socks off. But pick it up. You can still pick this up. Uh, it's still available. So take a look for it. It's worth trying out. So again, this is uh, brewed at Brooklyn Brewery. This is the Post Road Pumpkin Ale. Okay. Thanks again for joining us, or me in this case. And uh, cheers.